Well, hello, I'm Hardman Sage Red Man, and welcome to the video game tag. I was tagged by it to media. It's 21 questions, and uh, at the end, is I'll tag three people. I wish to do this. Okay, so first one what is your all time favorite video game? That would be Super Mario Bros. Land to the six golden coins. It is a fantastic Game Boy uh, game, uh, released in 1992, and it was, yeah, that's my all-time favorite game, Da, and uh, Super Mario World, and this, and the, the Game Boy Advance version of Super Mario World, it's a fantastic game too. What, what is your current favorite video game? That would be... Brothers A Tale of Two Sons, a game I did I did a while ago. I, I get games now and again and I got that game and I started playing it for a once off. Uh, I used to do videos where I just play a game for like half an hour. That'd be it. And I played it. Really enjoyed it. Never made that video. Played the whole game through that day. Next day, recorded the whole game. And held everyone about it. I got every achievement. I beat that game. I loved it because it's just you, it, the game is very simple. You control two brothers with different analog sticks on a control. You need a control over this, and it's puzzles, story. The storyline is brilliant. It's simple. I will not go into it. It is the best game I played last year, and it's a game that anyone asks me, I go go get that game. It's fun, fantastic. Number three. What is your favorite gaming genre? Uh, <clears throat> I am a fan of jump and shoot. I am a fan of Mario's uh, uh, Mario games where you and shoot games where you just running and jumping. But I'm now starting to get a fan of um, more story based games where well, there is action and there is not action. Just like I have really in the last year or two got into games that and like a billion billion things you had to do you're shooting with a gun or you're fighting it's more puzzles more thinking on your feet like I loved Portal 2 I loved Limbo I loved Bridge puzzle games I like um, I enjoy games that you don't have to do tons of things in it nice nice thing yeah I, I enjoy the kind of simple games I'm really into co-op games at the moment I'm really into co-op games at the moment. I really enjoy playing games with other people. Question four. How long have you been playing video games? Uh, <clears throat> 1998? Uh, I started playing video games when I was five or six. And it was the Game Boy. That was my first console. A family console. And we only had two games, and no, I think we only had one game, and we got a land. No, we had two games. It was Tetris and Super Mario Land Two, the Six Golden Coins. So there you go. What is the first game you ever played? <laughs> uh, Super Mario Land Two, the Six Golden Coins. It was in France, uh, ninety-eight. The year uh, France won the World Cup, and. Yeah. What game have you clocked the most hours on? <laughs> Alright, on Steam, <coughs> it is Fallout 3. Uh, I've hit 100 hours because I played it once through 60 hours and then I started a Let's Play, cancelled that. Uh, start again and then start another Let's Play of it. Uh, it's coming up to 100 hours plus. It's a fantastic game. I love the idea of it. Uh, Action RPG, but it's not like it's good. It's a fantastic game. Everyone should play it. Shoot your face. Um, but oh, I'm gonna have to say Super Mario Land two to six golden coins again because I could. Um, it took me years to be able to beat that game, and then it got me years getting it quicker and better. I can do the whole game in about forty minutes, give or take. And um, yeah. Number seven, what is your longest gaming session? 
Um. <clears throat> I um well I could I think the most hmm I remember getting Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 starting it and ending it in one sitting in a six or seven hours I did the whole game in and it was like it was like when I woke up it was like I've slept for hours and hours, it was everyone in my house was asleep. It was every. It was like, where's the night? What happened there? Um. Um. But yeah. Um. It could. It'd be a Mario game. I don't know which Mario game. It could be any Mario game on the Game Boy, the Game Boy Advance. I've clocked thousands of hours into Tetris. Um. Could be Tetris even. I. There's some games I can have no problem going back and playing again and again. But I... I'd say the longest I've ever sat down and played... Was... Maybe 15 hours? <laughs> 12 hours, 15 hours when I was younger? When I was sick, I always play a lot. And I'm always really good at games when I'm sick. Uh, that's I think that's the best time to play a game. I always found that when I was sick as a kid, there'd be a level... In a game, I just could not be a boss. I just could not be. It wasn't obvious how to beat it. Uh, but when I was sick, I'd play again and be able to do it. And I still kind of do the same thing. There's still games when I'm sick, I'll go and play because it's either hard or just difficult. Yeah, so. Number eight. What is your favourite game in developer? Nintendo. It's been in the family nearly. Well, in my family since. 90, 90, like 1992 maybe earlier no I've, no it's been in my family since the Nintendo came out the NES the entertaining Nintendo entertainment system and the Super NES it's been in my family ever since it arrived um, so I am going to say Nintendo I would say Naughty Dog because uh, I, I enjoy their games as well but I'm gonna have to say, I, there's not even an indie game developer that like, screams at me. Because uh, I'm never really in the know with developers, but I'm gonna say Nintendo, and everyone's just gonna go, Nintendo? What's that for me? Nintendo or Valve? I like, I've never had a bad experience with a Valve game. That's it. What? Number nine. Who? It should be whom. Who is your favorite hero character from games? Um, hmm. uh, I'm such a sucker for the the obvious. Mario, it's my favorite hero. Saves the day all the time. I like Mario. Uh, because again, there's no one screaming at me that I was like, oh yeah, that's he's a fantastic character. Oh, he's a great hero. Mario. I just Mario. Um, there are game other characters I like. I like. Uh, no, I'm not even gonna. Leon, Leon or Mario. Leon S. Candy from the Resident Evil series is a fantastic character too. Um, you have Mario who is very for the kids and the family, and he does very safe games. He's jumping and shooting, or flying and beating Bowser and beating the kids and beating Bowser Jr. and beating Wario and just having tennis. He does all that. But then you have Leon who arrives in Raccoon City in Resident Evil Two, and he uh, kicks ass. And then he does Resident Evil Four, kicks major ass. Uh, that could also that is uh, one of my favorite uh, games. If I had to make a list of my absolute favorite games, Super Mario Land 2, Super Mario World, Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 4 is also another fantastic game. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, Mario and Leon S. Kennedy. And um, I like Leon S. Kennedy so much that uh, for Christmas, I got this awesome present. And I still think this year, that box of presents I got off of someone... Um, who it felt like an old school Christmas presents because I got a box of toys and stuff that I really really like and I got a Leon S. Candy police 
uh, star uh, raccoon police deputy badge his id and i've nearly handed that in once or twice when i've been asked for id because i have in my wallet where my id should be so yeah <laughs> mario and leon s kennedy number 10 who's your favorite villain because i'm on the spot the tank from left for dead um <clears throat> not technically well a villain yeah he's a villain um because i don't know if that's like boss main boss or just characters like bad characters in them uh i'm gonna go with the tank a tank is a character in left for dead that oh, Who sucks to deal with. He really sucks to deal with. But even though you know he's coming. If you play the game long enough. You know when he's coming. You can hear the music just changes. It just goes boom. Changes. You see the dust flying. You see bits of ground. Cars flying. You could be flown into the sky. Um, I'm a huge fan of the tank. He's probably my favourite character to face in Left 4 Dead. Uh, because cause even you can work as a team. But if your team's down, it could just be you, and you could just take them out, and you're like, oh my god, I just killed a bloody tank. Whoa! And he's he's just fun to fight, and he's you get achievements if you kill him with a melee weapon, and all this. He's just fun. He's a fun character. Um, he's just a fun character. Yeah. Fun character. Number 11. Who, again, it should be whom, is your most hated character from any game? Oh god, most hated by Odin's beard, most hated character in video games. Okay, so this one's not a fun one because there's some characters that I really hate, and like, don't starve them giant eye creatures. I hate seeing them. Uh, that game's just really tense to play because if you die, it's over. It's the game's over. <laughs> it's over. Um. <clears throat> But I, I think one of my most hated characters in games is, but no matter what level you are in the game, it is a super mutant from the Left 4 Dead series. Super mutants, once you get to a certain level, are pimps. But the first time you see a super mutant in Left 4 Dead, you're like, oh shit, what the fuck is this? And you had to deal, not just with one, you had to deal loads. And at the beginning, and it's, I just hate the character at the beginning. And because I can't think of anyone else. I, I'm not going to say Bowser or Wario or Dr. Robotnik or any of these characters because I don't hate them. Now, I hate super mutants. And I hate giant super mutants. And I also hate Alma from Left uh, Fear. There's loads of characters I hate, but I really hate. Uh, Super mutants want you uh, at the in follow tree. They're dicks. They're big, massive, floppy dicks with balls. Balls and dicks. <laughs> Number 12. What gaming systems do you own? Uh, in okay, so Game Boy. I'm gonna go with all the ones I've owned. Game Boy. Game Boy Color. No, no. Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, and the GBA SP. PlayStation Portable. PlayStation. PlayStation 2. Xbox 360. Uh, GameCube. Wii. Wii U. I think that's all of them. I'm sure I'll have like oops, I've got these these ones. Um yeah. Yeah, them them the th them ones. Pretty sure. Oh uh Nintendo 3DS. Yeah, I forgot about that one. Number 13. What was your first gaming system? The first one I got for myself. Um because my brothers got the PlayStation and the PlayStation 2. Well the PlayStation 2 was for all three of us. But my first one that was just mine, disguise, was the uh, GameCube. My first game system was the GameCube. 
Uh, yeah. Game you. Number 14. What is your favorite gaming system and why? Uh, uh, hmm. Favorite gaming system is probably going to be just two of them. And it's an it, this is annoying cuz Because I watched Lydia's one, and she said for this, Steam. And I completely agree with Steam being a great gaming system. Because it's not console, they're asking for system. Steam is fantastic. Um, for many, many reasons, I won't go into it. Just get Steam and you'll realise. But if I had to pick console, I will pick the GameCube. GameCube, uh, uh, why GameCube? GameCube was the first console I was mine, not anyone else's. It was mine. I got it for Christmas. What the year I came out, I got Mario Sunshine. Uh, Mario Sunshine. F Mario Sunshine. What else? What other game did I get? And Tide the Tasmanian Devil. Tiger. Tide the Tasmanian Tiger. And uh, two fantastic games. And I still love those games. And there are games that I will probably never do let's plays of because they're not fun. <laughs> 15. Do you prefer to play guy characters or girl characters? Guy characters or girl um, I I do not care. I do not care who I play. I I find yes, there's not that many strong uh, female characters in gaming. There's Lara Croft, there's Samus, there's a few characters like that, there's a few Mortal Kombat, Com Mortal Kombat characters and Street Fighter characters that are very good female characters. A lot of female characters don't really have that much depth to them, uh, and male characters. Like, I don't really, like. I've never really played a character that I was like, oh, "Jesus, this is me." I really like this, but I don't mind playing girl characters because usually, if I do co-op with anyone a game, and I usually go, "Let me be the girl character," and I've done that a few times. <laughs> I'll be the girl character because I don't mind. Because when you play Lara Croft. Strong, independent woman takes no shit, right? And that's strong. But then you can play Resident Evil 4, where you have Ashley, who is... Oh, God, I hate Ashley in that game without getting the suit of armor. Oh, it's a horrible character. Leon! 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 But then you also have Ada Wong in that game, and that whole series, who's a very strong uh, lead character. And you also have the girls... Uh, the main ones from Resident Evil. So yeah, I do not mind. Once they kick ass, I do not care. And I did see a video recently of the stakes, the high uh, ways they go to high guys' asses to the way they accentuate girls' asses in games. And it's a very interesting video. So I do not care. That's my answer. I do not care. Once they're not crap. Number 16, do you follow walkthroughs or do you play through your own game? Your own, sorry, you're not your own game, on your own. Uh, it matters, really matters. I like playing games for the first time blind. If I've seen a bit of a let's play, like a Game Grumps or uh, a few other games like that, I'll go and get, get the game or find the game and play it. But I usually try to play it blind. Um, it's when you're, it's when, because a, a gaming experience should be, you learn with the game, you develop with the game, you're never going to be given a puzzle you can't do, Portal is great with this, Portal 2 is great with the whole, you're never going to get a puzzle, that's, the, no puzzle's impossible, they're all, um, like a riddle, once you know the answer, riddle's real easy, because it's obvious then, um, uh, it's puzzle games usually I sometimes need walkthroughs if it's just like I've been nearly an hour in a puzzle I was like oh my god how do I do this and it's you just do this twice and you're like oh god so some if I'm in a rush but if I'm doing a let's play of a game I try if I was on the game like a Zelda game I'd watch a walkthrough uh, and play the game at the same time just so I know I'm not going to make mistakes but yeah, I try. Uh, it, it depends it depends 17. Have you ever been to a gaming convention? No! That's my answer. Number 18. 
What game are you most expected for it to come out in the future? Um, it's out, but it's not out on Steam yet. Um, Tomb Raider, Rise of T Tomb Raider, Rise of the Tomb Raider. Uh, just because I'm not like I was into whole Silent Hills. But I was like, I'm going to get a, play a new PlayStation console. I was like, oh god, just be on Steam. <laughs> but there's no real game coming out in the future that I'm like, I can't, I can't wait to have. Jesus, 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 that's coming out soon. I can't wait to have that. Oh my god, it's nearly out. Oh, wow. Tomb Raider Rises, Tomb Raider, because I really... And it's annoying that I have... It's an... It's such a good game. The new version of Tomb Raider. By... Uh... Square Enix, sorry, Square Enix. I really like Square Enix version of the new, uh, their version of the Tomb Raider game. The last one they brought up for Rise of Tomb Raider. Because it, it really builds her into, because she's such a weak character at the beginning. And they just build her into this kick-ass girl. And it's so frustrating that I went off and I, um, I played Tomb Raider... The first one, we're out analog sticks, and I just had such a horrible experience. And I did, and I had a horrible experience. And I'd love, because I love that game, and I always tell people about it. And there's, there's people who have uh, some opinions that the originals were better. And I'm, I'm sure later on, Tomb Raider, the other ones get better, and it has to be at a time you need to remember. I'm playing a game from 20 odd years ago that has a. a, a, a what is it? A bit count of polygons of uh, 30 something where the new one has a couple of thousand. I'd rather the new one. And the new one, the Rise of Tomb Raider, looks great and I can't see them fucking it up in any way. And it's a fantastic game and it's the one game I am looking forward to. Because I completely lost what I was talking about. Number 19. What is your best memory of a video game? It was France. <laughs> It was Super Mario Land 2 <laughs> again. It was on a car uh, from Ireland to France on a boat. It's getting sick. And then on the whole journey, my brother was playing this. And when we were in France driving around, and he's like, I can't be the main boss, Wario. Do you want to give her a go? And I was like, sure. Now I'm 8 or 7. I think I'm 8 at the time. And. I just couldn't beat him, and so I turned it off. But several, I can't remember when I did it, but I brought the, uh, I brought something into the bat with me once. The Game Boy or the game, the carriages, and destroyed it. So the carriage had no save feature on the game. There was no save feature. So I lost it. So I pretended so my brother didn't kill me. That I was still playing it for a little bit. Yep. Number 20, what is your worst memory of a video game? Um, my worst memory, or any experience I have with games, is doing a co-op online with someone. And the internet for one of us goes down. That's like my worst memories. Uh, anytime I, I think of games, like there's... Me being frustrated as a kid, nearly being banned in my cousin's house because I used to get too intense when I'd lose, scream and kill everyone. I fucking, we can't get past them. Um, I'd just be very not nonchalant about cursing. I'd be screaming. I'd be punching the wall. I I wasn't a graceful uh, loser <laughs> with video games back then as I am now. Uh, Alenda's nice thing. If you can't beat her, just turn it off and try again later. So my worst memory is not being able to get past something. I can't any game, <laughs> any game, and internet crashing. Number twenty one. Jesus, that's a long one. Which video game character do you see yourself as, or? If you'd had to be, as a video game character, which one would you be? Jesus Christ. <laughs> 21 questions. Why couldn't there just be 20 questions? Alright? 
Just 20 nice questions. 21. So which character... Do I see myself as? This is the kind of one I'd love to ask other people. I'd love people down below who are watching this who know me or, or kind of get... Who has been a part of my YouTube world. What character do you think I would be? Um... Uh, I don't really see myself as... Um, what, this Irish guy who plays video games and plays guitar? Uh, Jesus, I could I, I could be anyone, really. Um, I'm... Uh, mixture. I'm going to go with a mixture. Leon S. Candy from Resident Evil. Um, because he's like a ba he does the right thing all the time. He's never like, oh god, I just he's never like complaining about it. He's doing his job. He's a little one dimensional sometimes. He's fleshed out, and he has a bit of an emo thing going on where I don't get. Uh, and Dante from uh, Devil May Cry, because same reason because. He's an upstanding guy who t tells a few jokes now and again. When he gets angry, he becomes a demon. But he, again, he does the right thing when he has to. And they are the two characters that I think really I see myself as them two characters. Yeah. So that has been my video game character tag. Blah blah blah. Boo. So I get to tag three people now. Oh God, who tree? Which tree do I get to pick? Um. So number one, I will pick Ash Reaper. Number two, I will pick Ron Johnson. Roy Johnson. <laughs> Ron. Uh, Roy Johnson and number three I really really hope she does it Professor Juice who's got the juice and I hope they do it if they don't I'll be sad because mm. but till next time I've been Holland Man and Stay Man till then take care goodbye see ya